Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jake and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about something very interesting. It's the ability to upgrade perks in Black Ops 3 Zombies mode Shadows of Evil. Now we're going to be talking about a leak that we heard a while ago back in June, about two months ago before school or before summer started. And now we're back at this ass wipe starting of the school year. So it was a long time ago, but we're going to be covering those leaks again. We're going to be taking a look at the legitimacy of how they could be accurate now that we have more information and those were released remember two months ago before a lot of uh, news and information came out for Black Ops 3 and the zombies mode. Now these leaks were from Long Sensation, that's how long ago it was, it was in June so it was a long time ago, but we're going to be taking a look at newer information that we just got uh, score streak wise for Black Ops 3's multiplayer. And then, the leak week that he introduced to his channel that had some zombies in it, but also some multiplayer. We're going to be taking a look at the information he was given with multiplayer. We're going to be putting it side by side with the information we have now to prove its legitimacy. So make sure you guys support the video by leaving a like. Slap the like button so hard it's like you're two feet away from Kim Kardashian's ass cheeks. But anyways, here's the document that Long Sensation put on his score streak video, which will also be in the description below if you want to check it out yourselves. And then here is the score streak list that we got uh, today talking about Black Ops 3 in its beta mode, and these are the score streaks given as well. We're going to put them side by side, and this is about 80% accurate. Long Sensation's leak is about about 80% accurate. There's most of these that he talked about before even gameplay was released for Black Ops 3 multiplayer. That's how accurate it was. And I know we're going to be talking about zombies information, but this was just real quick. I want to show you guys the legitimacy of this information. If you take a look at both pictures, you can see all the similarities that they had. Now keep in mind, the one on the left was a pre-alpha build that he was giving information on, and the one on the right is the build for the beta. So a lot of things changed from then on out. And so there's a couple of names that are different, but you get the general idea that they are the same score streaks. And about, uh, I said 80 before, but I think about 60 to 70% of this is accurate. And that was given two and a half, maybe even three months ago before this, the gameplay or any information about Black Ops 3 was given. Okay, so now we're going to transfer over to the Zombies mode and how you could upgrade perks. So here are how the pro perks will work. He says all these standard perks will return, however, there will be a small difference from the perks in the previous Call of Duty titles. This year, each perk can be bought twice. Buying a perk will allow the players to obtain its benefits just like previously, however, buying a perk the second time will give the player a small added advantage for that perk. These second buy perks are essentially pro perks. Example, now it says the Juggernaug increases player's health to 200%. You're, you have 100% without Juggernaug. Okay, allowing the player to withstand three zombie strikes, the fourth strike with a result of going down. However, when a player buys the Juggernaug for a second time, Juggernaug Pro, it will increase the player's health by 10%, 220%. This might be not seem significant, however, will allow a player to withstand one extra zombie hit. Now, if you're a good OG zombie player, you know that one extra hit, that one extra increase will help uh, tremendously and will be resulting in a uh, longer lasting life. Now here's some more information about the pro perks. 10 to 20 percent increase of the second perk buy is standard throughout all perks and currently the second buy of these perks is double the cost of the price from previously. For example, if Juggernaug 1 buy is 3,000 points, which is not, it's just an example, it will be 250 points, it, the second buy will be 6,000 points, or if we're talking about real life game, it will be 5,000 points for the second buy. Um, although the 10% increase is a small advantage for the players, it's actually a huge advantage, but it says the increase to cost is to balance the new system or features. And it says, as always, each individual map will have its own unique perks, so two or three new, or one or two new perks for each map. That is all the information given about pro perks or upgraded perks. But just remember, this leak was two and a half to three months old, but I wanted to take a look back at these leaks. 
Given the information that we have so far about Black Ops 3 in the present state, and looking back at the information given, we could determine whether or not the legitimacy is there or not, and there is legitimacy, so taking a look back at the leaks for zombies is a huge deal because of the legitimacy. And I could also make a video talking about the ranking system as well. Remember, this is all old information, old leaks, but remember that we take a look into the present state or the information given to us today, and looking back, and we can tell that there is legitimacy. So I can make some other videos talking about other leaks that he talked about, or you could simply just go to his channel and check out some more videos on the leaks on his channel. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I hope you did enjoy, and goodbye.